So this is base number 16 in our video. It's an all laminated Milano MV40 ebony fingerboard base. We got it in the white from China and uh, along with this other one and several more. Anyhow, this is base 16, 17, 18, 19. These are all laminates. Uh, this is a Shin SB80. We're working on making removable neck and do a customized finish on it. Number 19 is a carved top vintage base. It's a 50s or 60s model German. We've got an old neck now that we're going to fit to here and we'll have this thing fixed up as a removable neck carved top base for the traveling pro who wants a nice carved top base. This one is a Milano MB40 and needs to be finished up for setups. That's base number 20. Alright, then 21 through 26 are electric upright bases. The brown in this color is an all carved uh, universal with magnetic pickup and piezo and you blend them together here and other controls. And number 23 over here is its uh, sibling without the magnetic pickups. It's just got the piezo in it. We have a realist under the foot of the bridge so it'll sound big plugged in just because that realist. And these are both removable neck. There's bolts in the back, you take them out and you can travel with these in a golf club flight case. And then we have a couple of Palatino let's go upright bases here. Basic Palatinos. This is the lowest priced base that can do a great job sounding and playing great for the bass players that need an electric upright. And then these last two, 25 and 26, are Eminence removable neck four string bases with custom finishes. We have a, a copy of a Gibson Burst on this one. And this one here, 26, has a satin black finish with a very light beige pinstriping. Very customized. And these are up for grabs. Number 27 base is this black and white satin black finish with the uh, basic white pinstriping. And it, on, on the lower belt outside it's got uh, the FMI bases uh, sticker. I can go on there. This has steel strings on it. Base number 28 is a Shin SB80. We converted to removal neck and rented it out a number of times already. The sound post is glued in place so it stays there, it doesn't fall. This one is a Milano MB40. Everything on base. Fingerboard job so it doesn't rattle so much. This is a King Double Bass owned by Johnny Hatton. He plays with Brian Setzer Orchestra and other bands. He's played it enough with these uh, Rotosound metal wound strings that the fingerboard's grooved in and, and buzzing because of the deep grooves. We're doing a fingerboard job on it for him. The one next to it is bass number 30 in this video. Gorgeously sparkle finished with a Rockabilly wine paint job. Removable neck as well. One bolt, neck comes off only when you want it to. And you can travel with it without any fear of the, whoever's handling it breaking your base's neck off. And yeah, this thing is really ready for the road. We have uh, Innovation Ultra Black Strings on it. And the one next to it is a basic Milano NB12, all laminated, uh, ebonized maple fingerboard with uh, Innovation Golden Slap Strings on it. And just in front of it is a 1949K that we restored. And uh, it's got Innovation Ultra Blacks on it. This one was played by Poor Man's Poison in the National Contest Texaco Country Showdown. They won the contest. And uh, they're a fantastic band. Look them up, Poor Man's Poison. Anyhow, great K base. We stripped the last of what finish was on it when we got it and decided to just stain and oil finish it so the wood grain can show. And then did a rock really one trim on the edge. And uh, cool base. 